Welcome to Sunshine Canyon, located in the Santa Susana Mountains, in the San Fernando Valley. The Sunshine Canyon is an oak woodland with more than 8,000 oak trees. It's one of the best hardwood forests in Southern California, as well as the home of thousands of big cone spruce, sycamore, and native California black walnut trees. It's a place so special, it was designated a significant ecological area County of Los Angeles in 1976. Now, new legislation requires local governments to address the garbage crisis by having manufacturers limit excess packaging, step up recycling programs, and find new methods to dispose of trash in environmentally safe ways. A garbage dump in the middle of a proposed state park? Well, there are many good reasons not to expand the Sunshine Canyon landfill. Among them is the destruction of this beautiful and irreplaceable forest and wildlife sanctuary. This expansion will cause a mountain of trash to rise over 2,000 feet in elevation, making it clearly visible to the surrounding homes and scenic highways and nearby parks. This dump expansion will result in the destruction of all plant life for over 500 acres in what was supposed to have remained as an undisturbed relic of what once existed. Sunshine Canyon is home to approximately 8,500 oak trees. Many of these trees are 50, 75, and 100 years old. Along with these trees, there are spruce, sycamore trees, and other associated flora. The mitigation proposed for this canyon is seedlings. Unfortunately, never before is there any factual evidence that seedlings can reclaim such an area that has been devastated. Only 3 to 7% of seedlings survive. And then there is the matter of wildlife. Bobcat, deer, mountain lions, large raptors. These are just a few of the animal species indigenous to this area. And while it's too late for our children to see the falcons and the condors which once flew here, Sunshine Canyon is still one of the few natural habitats of the golden eagles and the red-tailed hawks. If we can save Sunshine Canyon, we can still share the gift of these majestic birds with our children. The question of our health and future is of even greater concern. Life in Los Angeles is only possible because we bring in our water from elsewhere. And the proximity of Sunshine Canyon to the major sources of water for the Los Angeles area and the detrimental effects of a dump in this canyon cannot be overemphasized. 75% of all Los Angeles water is treated in the area adjacent to Sunshine Canyon, which is located less than two miles from the Van Norman Reservoir and about a mile from the DWP Jensen filtration plant. If that wasn't serious enough, consider the fact that the proposed dump is only 3,500 feet from the California aqueduct, the main source of our water. You know, it really doesn't make a whole lot of sense to build a garbage dump right in the middle of a wind tunnel. I mean, Gus and the New Hall Saugus Pass of the Santa Susana Mountains regularly range from 15 to 100 miles per hour, and will blow millions of cubic feet of dust, and pathogens, and toxics into our water and air. The Environmental Protection Agency has stated unequivocally that even lined landfills leak. The Metropolitan Water District says of Sunshine Canyon that the existing groundwater contamination must be remedied and that the existing landfill may be leaking contaminated water. Contaminated water is poisoned water and the potential for toxic leachate to reach underground water is growing daily. Sunshine Canyon, bordered on the east and south by the Santa Susana Fault Zone, displays abundant evidence of its seismic past. You can see the many ground fractures and cracks with your bare eyes. These fissures, as well as the porous sandstone of the region, can be easily penetrated by toxic fluids carried from the dump into the groundwater. Over a nine-month period, Sunshine Canyon landfill received over 22,000 tons of Hyperion sewer sludge, waste consisting of grit, floatable scum blanket, stabilized waste and digester cleanings, among other solids. Investigators are confident that this material contained heavy metals and other toxins. The infamous Love Canal and Stringfellow dump sites are examples of what a concentration of these toxics can do. All landfills are toxic to some degree. They receive oil, insecticides, chemicals, dead animals, dirty diapers, etc., all mixed in with household and industrial waste. Chemical reactions, heat, pressure, and time combine to form carcinogenic gases and fluids. Elements of these gases 
have the potential to cause lung damage, miscarriages, upper respiratory and or neurological problems to Valley residents. And that's not all. From the standpoint of air quality, there are at least two reasons why the Sunshine Canyon landfill should not be expanded. We all know that the air pollution in Los Angeles is among the worst in the world. Expanding the landfill will contribute additional tons of reactive gases and hydrocarbons into the atmosphere, thus contributing significantly to ozone pollution in the Los Angeles basin and beyond. Many ordinary municipal landfills have caused explosions, fires, injuries, and deaths. Methane is known to migrate off-site carrying benzene and vinyl chloride, which are highly toxic carcinogens. The same toxins have been found in gases emitted from 17 out of 20 so-called harmless residential landfills. And none of these gases can be collected once they've entered the atmosphere. Eight large incinerators around the expansion site will generate 40 to 100 million cubic feet of greenhouse gases daily. That's daily. Isn't it peculiar? that we're all very concerned about the destruction of tropical rainforest thousands of miles away and are essentially ignoring a problem right in our own backyard. Additionally, the presence of these incinerators will greatly enhance the danger of fire in what is already an area of high fire hazard severity. We don't want another Love Canal, and we don't want another Stringfellow disaster. We must protect our planet. Let's think before we destroy this precious woodland and wildlife sanctuary. Let's think twice before we destroy something we can never replace. Saving our Earth must start here in Sunshine Canyon. If we do nothing, the giant oaks will be uprooted, the songbirds forever silenced, and an entire self-contained ecosystem will be lost forever. So please, get involved. We owe it to ourselves and our children, and our children's children to save Sunshine Canyon.